Mum, I'm going to go out the curtain to the car tomorrow. Yeah? And I'm going to drive out of London, get the Covid, and come back and kill you. Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking, love. But look, whatever you do, make sure that I, I, it, it's not prolonged or painful. No, nah, no, nah, nothing like that. You'll get the Covid, just stop breathing and you'll be going. How about that? Well, as long as you thought it through. Yeah, of course I thought it through. You know, I had a student. I was teaching him about the ways of love. How to drag a woman. How to make her stay with you. How to make her treat you right. Pleasure you. Make you happy as a man. In the sense of happiness as a man. But he wasn't a great student. I tried and tried and tried. And then one day he looked at me. And he burst out in tears and he said... You can't teach me. And I said, I can teach anybody. He said, no, 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 no. You don't understand. I said, understand what? And he said, I live with another man. Boy, I was disgusted. I wanted to slap his face. But I just opened the door and told him, get out of my sight. I don't want to see you again. Live with another man. Don't understand what he got out of that. God, this beautiful woman. Strolling around the club. And you got to be there, taking things and parts of your body which will hurt you. Sitting around, biting the pillow, make no sound. Don't make sense. That's been my only failure in my Academy of Love. Now, what is my Academy of Love? My Academy of Love is a place where I teach boys to be men and men to be boys and women to be girls. You know what I'm saying? Sure you do. Sure you understand. Welcome to my palace of seduction. There was this uh, couple of guys I knew who I think I uh, did a good job with. And uh, I never got any uh, credit for that. And uh, when I was uh, a little boy at 10, I met Elvis Presley. And uh, I taught him everything he knew about women, because I already knew from age three that I was a straight guy. My first lover was when I was four. Uh, most guys are masturbating when they're nine, 10, 11, maybe even as old as uh, 12, 13. I had a decade on those guys. I was always ahead of my time, just like with my funky grooves. Oh yeah. Anyway. I went on and uh, I had a lot of people in my academy. Sometimes I had to bend my views and be uh, think outside the box if they wanted gay boys, but mostly I stuck with the straight guys who appreciate the beautiful woman. I taught uh, Robert Palmer everything he knew. I, uh, every, Jimi Hendrix, oh yeah. I taught him how to commit fellatio on that. Uh, Guitarist and uh, who else? Everybody. Brian Ferry. Now nah, he was funny. He fucked up. He just looked like a twat, but the women like him. I I I told them all everything they knew. Uh, well, one thing that I know is that you don't need no Academy of Love. Like that Barry, Larry, whatever his name, Geezer is. You don't need any of that. We need is jazz. Play your jazz and just be happy and want to come flocking to you. Life flies round jam. The only time my mama's life was at risk was she was in the cotton fields. Yeah, I remember that time when she was picking cotton, right? Yeah, when she was picking cotton. Well, how'd you get her out of those fields? How I got her out of those fields was that I'd uh, leave town, go up to Chicago. The wind is here. Yeah, that's right. The wind is here. When the wind is here, they got some cats together, and we forget to get put put together a band. Yeah, you got to play music. Every black man is a born and a tater history boy. Damn right. I made some money, and I called Mama up on the Greyhound bus, and we were together ever since. Boy, I saw an inspirational story. Yes, sir. Woo-hoo. Ooh, I've made you some lovely nice COVID cake, I have. I love COVID cake. Did you make some custard with that? Yes, COVID cake with a bit of custard. Oh, I love that custard on the COVID. Custard and the coronavirus cake. That's one hell of a combination. I'll be eating that all week long. 
I don't need any bread. I don't need any burgers, steak, nothing. Just give me that COVID cake and a whole jug of custard. Oh, yeah. The trick to all of my cakes is like I made a banana cake. Yeah, the trick is that in the sponge, I put vanilla and I put some cinnamon. And then I get some banana or something and crush it into the pastry, into the sponge rather than the flour. And then uh, I bake the cake in the oven. Then about 10 minutes before the end of the baking process, I get some golden syrup. I get a laugh and I put a whole layer of syrup on top of the sponge cake. Then bang, it goes back in the oven and it bakes for another 10 minutes. After it's done, I leave it out. And I put it on my windowsill. Obviously, I keep my eyes open for uh, hyenas and coyotes and bastards who want to try to steal my pudding. Nobody going to be taking my hot cake. Uh, 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 I got a gun on the back and I ain't afraid to use it. Put a bullet in your ass. Or at the in Compton, put a cap in your ass. Anyway, so the cake cools down and when it's cooled down and nice and all the sponge is hot and the stuff and the trick is solidified on top. Well, that's when I open my fridge and I get out the custard. I get out the custard, heat it up, sometimes you have it cold. Slice up that cake, put on the TV, put on some hot carpone, undo my zipper. One hand is uh, taking a business, and the other hand is eating my cake and my custard. Oh, yeah, that's what you call life. That's exactly what life is. Life under the COVID restrictions. I don't know if you realize it, though, right? but, uh... You know that band, like, you know, Rainbow, the, and that the other band, you know, where uh, the Deep Purple, like, uh, that Richie Blackmore, he'd be from, the, from uh, Western, like, yeah, he'd be from Western Supermare, they said on the Wikipedia on the line, yeah, when my brother went down the library, he looked up famous people in Western Supermare, like, come up with lots of cricketers, few other people like hey, bloody Richie Blackwell, really. yeah, he'd be like one of the most biggest musicians whatever been, like Mr. Lennon and Marley and all that, he'd be going over in Los Angeles and all that, yeah. I met a strange bloke over in Never Stowe the other day, he said he'd been to Los Angeles, like, yeah. Hey, he'd be putting his poor mother at risk going out there, he'd be. Hey, I heard he'd be, he'd be driving up there like, I don't know if he'll make it or not, but I'll, I'll put some Deep Purple or Richie Blackmore's Rainbow through his, through his door like, maybe it'll cheer him up while he tries to drive. <laughs> in the low, bright in the low, yeah. Yeah, I used to love that one. Breaking the law, Judas Priest, fucking love it. Mate, I just got back, you know, I've, just day one of my activities since I've been in lockdown and died with this corona shit. It's a fucking boon to me, mate. Business is booming with the old pervert website. It's going fucking great. Lockdownlove.com, look it up. Fucking great tonight, because everyone's at home. Lockdown love, fantastic. Most of them don't think there's going to be anyone around, because it's... Uh, you know, fucking social distancing, it's perfect. You fucking sneak up to the windows, they're not going to fucking twig because everyone stays indoors, right? And a little old me's going from ass to ass with me camera, with me Zoom, as Fat Larry once said, and I'm fucking, I'm zooming in on those curtains, mate, and I'm getting some great ass action. I'm getting some great fucking tits bouncing up and down. It's fucking great, mate. I've never done so well at porn in all my life, and they don't even know they're in a fucking porno, mate. I don't have to pay no actors. It's fucking great. Business is booming. The big boogie, big. Boom, boom, boom. Welcome to my world. This is Lockdown Love. Lockdown Love with me, Randy Steve, out on the bat on the prowl here tonight. You're not seeing this video, but this is me, Lockdown Steve. I've got me better cloth on and me dark glasses. Ah, it's going great. Ah, I'm having a great night. Best thing that ever happened to me, the virus. Oh, fucking love it, mate. It was just like my favourite show when I was a kid. Survivors from 1975, the BBC classic. Oh, yes, absolutely fucking love it. And... Uh, I'm one of them bad boys, <laughs> as Duran Duran once said, making lots of money 
fucking hell, mate. You should see the website, Karen. It's going up and up through the roof. Better than David Icke's bleeding website. I'm telling you, mate. Oh, I'm fucking, I'm so rich, mate. I've, you know, I've earned what I would have earned before in a year, in one week. I'm going fucking great, mate. Bonk after bonk after bonk. The best areas where the virus is most prevalent. So I wear my gas mask for those that I sent off for. And uh, I'm right in there and I'm giving it large. Getting in the Zoom camera and I'm getting some great sex, mate. Great sex. It's going great. Business is booming, mate. Business is booming. I'm telling you. Yes. When all this coronavirus business is going to die down, I've decided to do a free show. I'm going to go all the way down Atlantic City on the East Coast and get my band together, the Love Unlimited Orchestra, and we're going to jam for everybody. We're going to go through New Jersey, through Teaneck, maybe through Newark, but the prolonged in Newark has got too many brothers in Newark. Full of too many brothers doing too many things that are not really brotherly. But we're going to go through New Jersey, see my friends, the uh, Italian boys out there. They can pull a few strings. I'm going to go down and do a show. And you was all invited. Uh, Mum, I'm going to get the cut into the car tomorrow. Yeah? And I'm going to drive out of London, get the COVID, and come back and kill you. Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking, lad. But look, whatever you do, make sure that I, I, it, it's not prolonged or painful. No, nah, no, nah, nothing like that. You'll get the COVID, just stop breathing, and you'll be going. How about that? Well, as long as you thought it through. Yeah, of course I thought it through.